Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to show how to find the inverse of a product of two permutations. So before handling this explicit permutation, 182 followed by 371, uh, we're going to do this a little more abstractly. So let's say I have two permutations, sigma and tau, and I would like to find the inverse permutation of that product. So I'm looking to multiply sigma tau by something and get the identity. So what I can see here is, first thing I could do is actually get rid of the sigma by composing with sigma inverse. That'll just give me the identity. And now I'm left with a tau. I can get rid of the tau by composing with a tau inverse. So you could think about this in the following way. Imagine that tau, that's putting on your socks. And sigma is putting on your shoes. Well, when you want to undo that process, you first have to take off your shoes. And then you can take off your socks. Right? That's why the order reverses. So we see here that sigma tau inverse is actually going to be tau inverse, sigma inverse. You invert both, but you also reverse the order. All right, so let's look at our specific example. I have 182, 371, and I want to invert that. So I can think of this 182 as my sigma, and the 371 as my tau. And so we worked out, we're first going to have to figure out the inverses. So what is sigma inverse? Well, in another video, we showed if you have a cycle, you can write the inverse by copying the first number and then writing the rest of it in reverse order. So I go to the end and I write a 2 and then an 8. And then my tau inverse, I copy the first number, and then I go to the end and write in reverse order. So 3, 1, 7. All right. So my inverse is going to be given up here by tau inverse, so 3, 1, 7, followed by sigma inverse, 1, 2, 8. Now this is not a product of disjoint cycles because you see we have the 1 in both. So we can rewrite this. All right, let's ask, where does one go in total? Well, in the first permutation, one goes to two. And then two is fixed by the second permutation. So in total, one went to two. Where does two go? Well, two goes to eight, and then eight is fixed on the second permutation. So in total, two goes to eight. And where does eight go? Eight goes to one, and then one goes to seven. So in total, eight goes to seven. Where does seven go? 7 is fixed by the 1, 2, 8 permutation, but then it goes to 3. So 7 goes to 3. And finally, the 3 goes back to 1. 